Hi guys, I'm Sajid Das and today I'll be discussing why Android 5.1 Lollipop is still not reaching Android 1 devices and why Android 1 users are still waiting too long for the update. So if you want to find out the real problem, check my full video. Now here I have with me is the Android 1 device which is still running on Android 4.4.4 KitKat. The phone is having decent specs and is capable of running Android's future versions or recent versions which were released now and the phone is running a version which is 4 to 5 months old by now which is KitKat. KitKat was a good version when it was released with the Nexus 5 last year, 2013 it was released around August to September. Now this phone was released earlier this year at October of 2014. At 15th September of 2014 it was released. So this phone is capable of running any Android versions of future till 2 years because Google said that. Now this phone is still not getting Android 5.1. I am annoyed all the users of Android 1 are annoyed why Google is not forcing the update to be released for this uh, handsets. The problem is that the Android 5.1 is buggy. The Android 5.1 for Indonesian Indonesian phones, Android 1 phones were buggy. So many reports says that it was having so many problems on the flashlight, power on button, the software was a bit laggy, the animations went so smooth and blah blah blah. Now I think Kesa Sengupta and Sundar Pichai are on the fixes of the Android 5.1 lollipop version. So we will get the update which is a fixed one which is good. Android 1 devices will get Android 5.1 lollipop within this month I think so but it's not guaranteed. Well you can install the Android 5.1 ROM of Indonesian Android 1 phones in your Android 1 but you will get some lags, problems and bugs because it's not so optimized. The update was released in a hurry mode for Android 1 and all the world was in shock that Google secretly released its new version but for the world who are in shock let me say you the version is not stable it's not stable well our Indian version of A1 is still running 4.4.4 which is annoying even so many phones still now had got the lollipop and they are enjoying it but we are still waiting but wait a second did I say that there are so many high-end phones which still not got Android Lollipop and had not seen even a bit of that animation on their phones. There are still so many persons like that. Let me give you an example. The users of Note 3 or S4 have still not got Lollipop. Even the users of Asus Zenfone 5, Asus Zenfone 6, which are Asus is one of the best phones, have still not got Lollipop. Even let me give you another example, Droid Razer, Droid models of Motorola, earlier models and motor phones came. They were also high-end phones, but they didn't get Lollipop. There are so many more companies which didn't push the Lollipop update for their phones still now and will be pushing maybe in April or March end, which is quite annoying for them. We are lucky that we are using a 6.5k device and we are getting updates as fast as many phones not as Nexus because you can't really expect Google to treat Android 1 dev devices as Nexus because Nexus is exceptional. Nexus are high end models and Google is one of the best initiatives which always comes with the high end specs, flagship. The bugs on the Android 5.1 are the flashlight bug. The torch bug, I mentioned the bugs before also I'm mentioning it again and I'll explain it why it is. The flashlight bugs, whenever you will click the flashlight from the notification panel, it will glow but sometimes it happens that the screen becomes white, pure white, like the software is dead. I don't know why it happens but you need to reboot your phone again. I have I also installed the Android 5.1 Lollipop ROM of Indonesia on my phone some days before but the ROM was really really annoying with the bugs and the ROM wasn't so smooth. Yeah, it is smooth than the KitKat ROM of Android 1 but not as smooth as the ROM you see on Moto E, Moto G though the ROM of Moto G is of 5.0.2 and will get 5.1 we are lucky than Moto G. So, I am clearing that Android 1 users, please wait for the update. I think you don't want a buggy update or an update which is having some bugs, some problems, some lagginess. I think you don't want, right? So, wait for it. 
let Google take his, take their time and make a perfect ROM for us. Even Google announced some days before that they have started rolling out the updates for the Android One devices. And very soon, after some weeks, Spice, uh, Spice announced that they are they have started rolling out the update. Now, don't think that Spice users, Spice Android One users, will get the update before the Micromax or Carbon users. Android One phone is not of Spice, not of Micromax, not of Carbon. The phone can be manufactured by their OEMs, OEMs, but the phone is of Google. In a line also, I think, so that the, that every action has opposite and equal reaction. Same here. Every good action Android does with their software has always given it a negative re reaction, always. Here also, I don't know why Google has still not released the updated 5.1 ROM for Android 1 or they're still making it, but I am really waiting for the version. I am I am annoyed but not that much because I know the real fact why Google is not pushing the updates to us. Well, if you are a user of Android 1 and is bored with the version of KitKat and you are planning to update your phone manually with the Android ROM of Indonesian Android 1 which is 5.1 but don't do it because you will get some bugs some lagginess and it is it is very 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 easy to do but also very tiring it was tiring for me because it take, took at least two hours to do that because the update my phone was dead for some time I again installed the 4.4.4 and then I again installed the 5.1 which was tiring really tiring so it was a short video on the discussion of why Android 5.1 is still not reaching Android 1 devices and why Android 1 users are waiting too long for the update. Now you have seen the full video so I thank you and also like the video if you like my production of this video and if you like my video production of my full channel which is Techie Geek please subscribe to it so that you will be notified whenever I upload a video. For today it's over. I'll meet you for the next video. I'll meet you on the next video. So, till my next video, you better be in peace.